ever go into a store, fabric store, and see beautiful panels and think, what am I going to do with this? I've got you covered. Hi, it's me, Melanie Grace, here with a new video. I wanted to show you how we can make a project bag out of panels. Now, I love buying panels because they're just so pretty. Look, look this has a, a cow and a rooster and this beautiful llama. I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, there's so much here, but I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Project bag. Um, I want to show you some of the project bags I've made in the past. This one actually has a project in it, but project bags don't have to be large. It can be nice and small. So what you're going to need for this project is going to be a panel of your choosing, a panel that you bought and you just don't know what to do with. Um, I recommend getting some coordinating uh, fat corners so that we can um, frame it out and kind of extend it even more and have a little handle. So, and then you're also going to need some clear vinyl, or if you have some powdered vinyl or glitter vinyl or star vinyl, it's a good thing to do this. And then you're going to need a zipper. These zippers are the zip. This is a... This one's not. I was going to say this is the zippity doo zipper, but this one's not the zippity doo Where's that one? I don't know where that one is, but basically um, what I did with this is I had two fat quarters that I absolutely loved. And what I did is I cut them to size and then I have this accent here. Well, actually, this one is actually clear on the top. I see my fingers. But yeah, it's just two pieces of fabric and then we put in this dual um, strap. I have some basically binding for the zipper. I can't really see, but I have, I did some um, specialty stitches. Great project to do your specialty stitches because I have a straight stitch machine, but many of you have like all the buttons, change out your thread, do something pretty. And then we just bound it like we would a quilt. Um, also, I would recommend for this project getting a Teflon foot for when you are sewing over the vinyl. So let's get started. All right, so what we have here is our panel. The panel that I'm using today is from Free Spirit. Looks like it's the Farm Friends and the Spirit to Create. I have three different um, fat quarters that I bought at the shop. I'm trying to think of what we're going to use. I think it should be good. With this panel, <clears throat> since I have two cows, I think what I might do is cut out the cow and have it on both sides. And then, let me see, where did I put this? So then we have our clear vinyl. And so I think it was the llama is bigger because a chicken's pretty small. Oh no, it's a cow. The cow and the llama are the biggest. So we have this. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have enough to cover basically the window. So I put this over. I can see I have about two inches there and I have about an inch there. So I'm probably going to want to border this about Let's do two inches. We'll do two inches on all sides. So I'll probably, it's pretty. I'll do two inches of this one, frame it out. And I'm gonna save some of this for the binding and we're gonna cut it all out. Um, so from here, you're gonna make sure you cut two pieces, a front and a back, and then um, cut this to the same, cut your vinyl to the same size, if not like an inch bigger on all sides of your panel. So this project is gonna be specific to the size panel that you have. For example, I have this other panel that's Halloween and this is much, much bigger. So if I had this, it just wouldn't fit. I would either A, have to trim this down or get a bigger piece of vinyl, which I actually do have. Um, wouldn't this be, a, this would be a fun project bag. You are the magic. All right, let's get to Cutting. With these panels, you just want to make sure that you cut straight. All right, cut down here. All right the way for a second. This project is going to happen so fast it's going to blow your mind. Now I guess in theory I could keep that but I don't want the pink with this thing. Maybe save that. We'll see. All right so there's our first one and again you can take your vinyl we can take a look and think, all right, I'm going to go this way. And I think up at the top, what I want to do is I want to add, let me see if I bring this down. I want to add probably four inches to the top. 
because I'm going to have a zipper and I don't want to hide my, my cow. So let's start doing this. So this is also from Free Spirit Natural Beauty. All right, it might be important to measure. So it's about 11, we'll call it 11 and a half, 11 and a quarter. All right, we'll cut this way. Actually, before I cut my borders, I'm going to cut my binding. Let's just do two inches. All right, so that should be plenty. And from here, I don't know. Oh guys, it's just a little short. I we'll have to go this way. Okay, work with me here, work with me. Okay, I fold this in half long ways and I'm gonna cut my four inches. And then because I know the length, let's also cut a two and a half inch strip for the bottom. And then we have some extra. We'll use this for our handle. All right. Step one is building the front and then we will build the back basically the exact same way. So we'll put this here. We'll put this here and we'll put the done and the done. Isn't that beautiful? So from here, what I'm going to do to make this easier, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and sew these together to make them longer, to make the best use of my fabric. Is this, so the sides are two, bottom is two and a half, top is four. So I, I had some fun with this. Um, I'm gonna sew them together, make sure that's done, and then I'll come back once everything is pieced, and I should be able to show you the sewing part, so hang tight. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two, and I'm not gonna do the fancy stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and just place these um, right sides together, and I'm just gonna sew off the, um, the selvage. And then these ones, I'm going to do the exact same. Straight seams. I don't mind. I don't want straight seams. I don't want straight seams. Actually, let's do that again. Give us a quarter inch. I didn't really think through that. now we have a very nice long strip this we're going to do a lot of trimming when we're done so i'm not worried about the same size these are going to go on the sides so let's get started first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my long two inch here and i am going to sew this a quarter inch down the side then i'm going to take the other half of this put this two inches down the other side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other panel. All right, so we're here. Normally, my sewing machine is in, but my thing didn't go as it should have. So, whatever. Actually, I'm gonna change out my foot. I'm gonna be using my quarter inch guide foot. That's my favorite. Looks like I've got some gummy stuff on my needle. All right, stitch length at two and a half. I forgot to trim off my selvage. I'm going to do that now. All right. 
So we're going to put this on the side first, put these together. Nice and easy. So from here, oh, Bobbin, <laughs> dang it. What are we doing? We're threading. We're threading it. So after you wind it all through, you do your needle up, down, needle up. Then you're going to put it through that little hook there. You're going to push this down, push this through there, and then just release. And then it threads your machine. So cool. So fitted. Let's finish. Now, I am just going to, I put you guys so much closer, just like that, and then we are going to go on to the other side. Also, we're going right sides together. All right, there's one. I'm not gonna have enough, so I might have to pull from my binding strips and then come up with a new binding strip for this. Now, I know this isn't long enough. Is it, is it long enough? Holy moly. Holy moly, it's long enough. Oh, you were massively in Zoom. It's long enough, guys. I could not have planned that. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's <a> half inch. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right. So from here, I'm just going to finger press this because I am a mom and moms don't have a lot of time to turn on and heat up the iron. All right. So to do this, do, 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 do. Okay. This probably should have had a nice iron. Blah, blah, blah. blah. There, there we go. So there it is right now. Just gotta put a bottom on. And I know this isn't long enough. So close, so close. Should have pressed it. Hashtag no trimming. You guys don't need to see this part. That's okay. Right. See that one? Four, four. What we have here is we have two panels exactly the same. Cute. 
cute, huh? The next thing we're going to do is we are going to base this. Now I'm going to use some fusible, um, fusible batting that will all stick together. And then we are going to quilt this. It's going to be so fun. And then we're going to do a final trim. Then we're going to finish up this project bag. So hang tight. Iron heated up. We're going to press these and then I'm going to cut my fusible batting. Flip it over actually. Oh, it's hard. Oh, hard. So easy. I have this, I think this is Taylor quiltable fusible batting. I use this for all sorts of projects like this because it's really stiff. I would never put this in a quilt, but for like a project bag or a wall hanging, I will use it. Now we have it fused. This fusible stuff doesn't fuse very well, so what I would probably do is just take some pins, put it around the outside. But now we have a beautiful sandwich panel uh, with these beautiful frames. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to quilt this. And I always say this is a great opportunity if you're learning how to free motion quilt, just go crazy on it, try it. I mean, I, I all my project bags are full of projects. because I just, I, I make so much stuff. Um, or what I love doing is just doing a straight line. I'll show you this one I did recently. Um, I just, I drew with a heat erasable pen, diagonal lines, and I sewed with my walking foot, just straight down. Perfectly simple, easy, 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 easy. So I think I'm gonna try to press this again, I'm gonna pin it, and um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's either gonna be free motion or I'm gonna actually do some ruler quilting on this. And also I wanna mention, I am gonna be filming a whole course on how to quilt with rulers. So if you're interested in that, click the link below, sign up for the wait list. As mentioned, I opted to pin. So I put pins here, 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 and here. So it stayed together. Um, but some of the part, I think I just needed to hold the iron there a little bit longer. So, but this is great. See how stiff this is? I think it's just so stiff, so stiff. Let's get to quilting. All right, Ooh, let's turn some bright lights on. Um, I am gonna do my walking foot because my tables, I don't have like a nice surface. So, okay, this, I'll be right back. So what I did here is I just did, I just did one wavy line and then I just echoed it all the way to the top. So easy. All right. Now let's check the back side. That's not looking good. No.
I finished quilting it with my walking foot and one of my favorite parts of the walking foot, you just do one line. So you just do one line from the corner to the corner and then just echo out. So you can kind of see I did wavy lines. And then, there's my cow. There we go, that's better. See, just simple wavy lines. The next step is to prep our zip. Now we're just gonna square this up. I'm just going to take my line here, just get even it out. We're gonna make this, you can see it's all like monkey. So if I do an inch and a half, it just got wonky right there when I was quilting. That, and I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing, make sure this is an inch and a half. Yeah, it's all wonky. That is okay. It's a project bag for me. Just measure out two, 13 and a half inches. So I'll go this one, it's also 13 and a half inches. There we go. So from here, I am going to need a 13 and a half inch zipper. So I'm gonna use zipper tape. Got this on Amazon. And we said 13 and a half, I'm gonna cut this way. I'm gonna make it 14 and then I'll trim it down. All right. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna encapsulate this. I'm gonna look for some thing and I'll be right back. Normally, I would have used this fabric, but since the rest of it's gonna be used for binding, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this double fold bias tape. And what I'm going to do is, I'm go actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be putting the vinyl in here to grab it. And this is where you can do those specialty stitches. And then I'm gonna sew that onto my zipper just on the top side like that. And I'm gonna do the same on this side, both sides. We'll have a small strip of vinyl and then a big strip of vinyl. So now we are going to start to prep our vinyl. So we have our two cuts. I cut these 14 inches same as my zipper. And now I'm gonna make sure the plastic goes to the bottom. And what, it's okay if it hangs over because we're still gonna trim this up. This can't go that way, so it has to go that way. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up. And I'm going to place that in there. Let's go ahead and clip it. All right, and I have this other piece that I just need. Let's just take five inches. Alrighty, same thing. We are going to pin or clip these in. There we go. So you should have your very large piece and you're gonna have your top piece. We pinched our double fold binding on there. Once again, if you have, um, I wish you had those uh, fancy stitches, do this here, it'll be fun. I'm just gonna use my straight stitch. I'm gonna do one along here and one along here and then we're done. First. Thank you. 
like that. We have the bias tape stitched on. I grab my zipper and I'm gonna attach the zipper. So we stitched that on and now I'm about pinning this one. I noticed on here I didn't do good stitching, so this is gonna be my backside. And now I'm just gonna be pinning this about an eighth of an inch away. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to use clips. We're not going to use pins. We're going to use our clips. We're going to put them all the way around. And then we're going to prep our binding, throw on a handle, and then we are done. Um, one important note when you're putting on the zipper, I always make sure my zipper opens to the right because that's right. Okay, that's right there. So now I'm going to turn you guys around. We're going to pin this, sew it. And that's when you need the Teflon foot because the Teflon goes on to plastic. So it looks like I forgot to record that, but I used my Teflon foot and I sewed around all the edges and now completely enclosed. I backstitched a lot over the zipper so now we can open and shut. The next part is prepping the binding, sewing it on, and now you have a beautiful paneled project bag. You can put anything in there. You can put your clips in there, do whatever you want, but yes. Feel free to comment below, see if you let me know if there's any other type of fun things you want me to do with panels. I'm more than happy to share what I've done with the panels. Um, let me know. So I have sewed on the binding at a quarter of an inch and now I'm going to pair this up. Um, I'm just going to do a brief little snippet. I wanted to save some of this for the handle, but I need this full amount so I don't think I'm actually going to be able to save this. So I'm going to measure two inches. Give this some more room. Alright, so I'm going to put my two inch line on my ruler on the edge of this piece. And this piece, I am going to cut up the chalk. Now I am going to cut on that line. Definitely not enough for a handle. <clears throat> All right, now we are going to open these up just like that. And then we are going to place them together. When I do this, when I do my binding strips, I always like to pin.
And then we are going to basically sew from this corner down to this corner. And like a lot of people do, I like to use um, quarter inch seam tape to help me. I'll put my start needle down. Let's see how it looks. And then when you open it up, there you go. So I'm just going to trim off this corner. Quality stream. There we go. Now we're just gonna sew down. Here we go. The next step, we're gonna make our strap and we're gonna basically sew the straps in right in the middle of the top back. So, all right, because I'm out of fabric, I'm gonna use that seam tape and right now I'm just gonna stitch along the tops here to finish this off. have our panel. What we're going to do, oh, and I should probably tell you, this ended up being about 12 inches because I'm going to separate it pretty much like that. I'm going to mark this about three inches in. I don't want to poke any more holes in my vinyl. Um, so the next time you see me, this will be completed. I finished it. I put on the binding by hand and um, between when I first stuck on the tutorial to finishing the binding, I cut what I believe to be a strap throat. So my blade <laughs> is going, um, but I'm very happy to finish this out for you. I'm going to flip this around so I can show you what I ended up. So if you buy a panel and you are wondering what to do with it, make yourself a project bag. And that way you can see your panel and truly, truly appreciate it. You can tote this around. And I tell you, if you ever go on a quilt run and you bring this as your shopping bag, you are going to wow everyone in that quilt store. It happens to me and my mom every time we do a quilt run. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.